What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff and Justin, the frustrated rock stars, back with you talking some talk and roll. Talk and roll. We're coming from the uh, On the Rocks Tavern in Sandy Springs, Georgia. <laughs> you're, you're tipsy. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what we do. We, 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 hey, we're tipsy, you're tipsy. Let's enjoy some music talk. Here's the thing. Now, Jeff, I, know, I, know, I noticed you have a Led Zeppelin it's shirt on. It's a simple on. question. I, okay. Who is the Led Zeppelin of our generation? Now, let me, let me, let me say a few things before I ask the question. Okay. Who's Led Zeppelin? Okay. No, I'm just, uh, you know, you can't say who's the Beatles of our generation or who's the Rolling Stones. There's not going to be another Beatles. There's not another Rolling Stones. Or who is the Led Zeppelin of our generation being bands that came up in the 80s and that are still around? Okay. Well, no, I, and the reason I say that is because, you know, like the Beatles were a little more mainstream. The Stones more mainstream. Led Zeppelin had more of a... You know, they were, they were huge and had more of a... I think you couldn't be more wrong on this subject. I, how are the Beatles not as big as Led Zeppelin? No, no they're, they're bigger. They're Stones. bigger. I'm saying they're bigger. They're, they're bigger, but Led Zeppelin's huge. There will never be another Beatles. There will never be another Led Zeppelin. Okay, well, that's the question. Well, then there's your answer. If your answer is no, no, then there no. You go. There you go. Tip your waitress. Good night. <laughs> there's it? never going to be another Led Zeppelin. You're saying, you're saying of all the bands that came up in the 80s, you're saying that none ha have had the same success, longevity, or influence as Led Zeppelin did in the 70s. That's the question. Well, you know, we've kind of talked about this before. Um, in brief spurts, there have been bands that have done it. I think well, Pearl Jam had a two, three, four year spurt where they were the, like, everybody loved Pearl Jam. Right. They, they had Led Zeppelin type success, but they didn't sustain it for right. a decade. Right. They really dropped off after the second album. Uh, this, I, I, don't, I, I don't, I don't, after 10, I mean, they really well, dropped no, no, off. They had, they, I think they had a couple with, uh, well, I mean, you know, they sold 2 million copies, but by the yeah, first album came out. After five years. It was over. Okay. You know, okay. So there's been bands, I think, this that, is the conversation I wanted. Okay. But, but uh, the only band since Led Zeppelin that has had that kind of career, in my opinion, is Metallica. I agree with you. Metallica has had the 20, 30 year career. Right. They have influenced every rock band. Hands down. Hands down. All the new the rock and roll, new metal you hear right. it all is sounds, based on metal. You can hear it. Just like back in the 80s, all those 80s bands, and, right. and I mean that, I mean, you know, uh, I hate to say the hair bands, but all the... Even before that, yeah, they, they all had a Led Zeppelin influence because it also had a lot to do with the with the mystique and the partying and the, you know. I think just the whole look riffs. too. The long-haired, blonde lead vocalist, right? A great smoking guitar player, a crazy maniac drummer, you know, wild excess partying, right. throwing the hotel furniture out the, the window. Right. Right, they, they, all, they all went by that template, and uh, so which one actually achieved it? You're saying Metallica. I'm saying I think Metallica is the only band that's had Led Zeppelin type success since, since Led Zeppelin. Since Led Zeppelin. I, I, I agree with you. And me. you always say, oh, there'll never be another. You know, I mean, Larry Bird, to use sports analogies, everybody said, oh, yeah, there'll never be. Sports. Well, you know, there, there'll never be another Michael Jordan. There'll never be a Larry Bird. And now we've got LeBron James, who's probably better than both of them. So there's and always Jeff Francoeur, who's like oh, better than Dale Murphy. Now you're being a homer. <laughs> oh wait, a what? Think, a homer. That's a sports term too. That means you're talking about your city's people. Well, well of course I am. We've got fans all over the world. They don't know who Jeff Francoeur is. Oh, they don't. You think the guy? Is that back why he was on this cover of Sports Illustrated in, 90, in 2005? Mush. Huh? What do you think our fans in Pakistan think about Jeff Francoeur? Well, exactly. Well, what do you think they think about the run of LeBron James? LeBron. <laughs> Huh? Or, 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 as said, or as I said on 96 Rock one time What's in that? the morning, I said LeBaron James. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I, you pronounced it. I was reading a sports report. I didn't know. <laughs> it's like you were saying, from Des Moines, Iowa. I said LeBaron James. <laughs> and the board op came in to me and he was like, oh, by the way, it's LeBron James, not LeBaron James. I thought he was like the day of the Chrysler. Aren't you a cute kid? They're so cute at this age, aren't they? Anyway. They really are. So. Metallica. Metallica. So my crazy question of who is the Led Zeppelin of generation, I guess would be Metallica. It is Metallica. There's no one that comes close. Guns N' Roses had that little window where they were the biggest band in the world. Dangerous. What's going to happen next? But it didn't last. It only lasted five years. Pearl Jam, Nirvana. Mm, didn't last long. Yes, STP, uh, Black Crows, mm, Green Day. And, and also think about this is uh, the influence. All the bands mm. from the 80s were influenced by Led Zeppelin. You know what we're forgetting? We're forgetting you too. They're an anomaly. They're in their own league. But they're as big as Led Zeppelin. 
But you know what? They're not very influential. Not no. too many people sound, sound like, like you, you too. Exactly. They've got, That's you know, they're, they're you too. That's in, the, in the 80s, all the bands sounded like Led right. Zeppelin. And this is why Metallica, I think, is the Led Zeppelin of our generation, is because all the new bands or new metal bands sound like Metallica. I they, think they, they, they take a template from they Metallica. Borrow, they borrowed from Led Zeppelin, but the thing about Led Zeppelin is they had a lot of different sounds. I mean, they had like the over the hills kind of thing. Right. Then they had hard rock like Black Dog. Then they had like Cashmere. It brought in a like, what do you call it? Sither, Zither. The sitar, they sitars, they had the and Middle Eastern influence. They had all the influence. So they didn't have one sound. They really did a lot of different things, they, but, you know. But their, their influence. Metallica did one thing. Right. But that one thing up until like i guess some of the ballads they started doing but but the, that one thing they did influenced new bands more so than any other band from the 80s the irony is the band that sounded the most like them that actually literally decided hey right. we want to sound just like them is kingdom come kingdom come a, a band, band nobody's heard of yeah and i actually saw live i got to see them in 1989 monsters of rock tour Metallica, Van Halen, Scorpions, Dokken, and Kingdom Come. All in one day. And uh, if you haven't checked this band out, they sound exactly like Led right. Zeppelin. Now, I'm not saying that they are as good as... Oh, God, or, no. You know, they have one album, I think. <laughs> Maybe two. But if Led Zeppelin were to come up in the 80s, it would have sounded like... Kingdom Come. I mean, literally, you, you could hear. The vocalist sounded exactly like right. Robert Plant. And the drums, drums and the riffs, production, everything. That, that, that's the irony of it, is, is they, because all those bands from the 80s, all the quote unquote hair bands, thought they were going to be the next Led Zeppelin. Uh, none of them really became it. I, I think it's just impossible to be Led Zeppelin. You can sound oh, no, like Metallica. Not. Metallica, you just have to like. Yeah, but there's but so much. Led Zeppelin, it. you need a touch, you need a feel, you yeah. have all these different sounds. Yeah, but even with that, like I think even even Kingdom Come, they had the Led Zeppelin sounds. Right. This wasn't there. Like all like new bands, they can't just do, they can't just play Trapped Under Fire and think they're gonna be Metallica. There's some, there's something more to it. I think and, and I think Metallica had that magic, just like Zeppelin had the magic in the '70s. Metallica, that's all I wanted to Metallica, say. Metallica, all right. Metallica influenced the sound of bands. Yes. Led Zeppelin more influenced. Wow, I want to be a super rock band. Let's have a hot lead singer guy with his shirt open, a smoking guitar player who's so, musically talented. Right. Let's let's a crazy be, drummer. Right. Let's and the, a bass player that sits in the background. Sits in the background. We can't we can't have four stars. <laughs> yeah. We're referring to our bass player right. uh, podcast, which is on our website. Yeah, we actually did a whole thing on bass players. Yeah. So anyway, I think I think we've covered it. I think but, 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 in closing, Metallica is the Led Zeppelin of our, of yeah, our generation. Not, yeah. And, and I don't think they'll ever be another Led Zeppelin. I don't think they'll ever be another Beatles. I don't think they'll ever be another Rolling Stones. You know what I'm saying? What? Uh, you don't think Justin Timberlake? Is... But you know what? You never know. You never know. Tomorrow, a band could come out that everybody else... No, Maroon... How do you know it's not Maroon 5? I bet you in 1970... How do you know it's not Maroon oh, 5? Oh, shut up, Maroon 5. Maroon 5. I bet you in, before 1983, people said, oh, there'll never be another uh, Jackie Wilson. And all, Michael Jackson Thriller comes out and sells 32 million copies. So you never know what's around the corner. That's what makes it fun. The beauty of music, and that's the beauty of us having yes. a good time. That was, that was a good chat. All right. Can, You're can sweating. We, yeah, I am sweating. I, I worked up on that one. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for listening. And uh, check us out. We, we're all over the web. You're, we're like Asian porn. Yeah. I mean, we are all over the web. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. MySpace. MySpace. Vidler. And our site, uh, FrustratedRockStars.com. We're everywhere. And, uh, and make sure you subscribe and uh, leave comments wherever you want. Um, iTunes, Zoom, YouTube, whatever. Or email us directly, info at FrustratedRockStars.com. We respond and we'd love to hear from you. Goodbye, Chi-Town. Goodbye. <laughs> you in Chi-Town. Bye, y'all.